Hello everyone and welcome to the Fry Smiles Oral Health Network. I'm your host Scott Fry and this week we are broadcasting live from Oahu, Hawaii, straight from Waikiki Beach and I just want to show you guys our view out the window here. It's pretty sweet. Now we're here, my residency sent the residents all to Hawaii for the annual American Association of Orthodontics meeting on Waikiki Beach here and I've been learning a lot but in the meantime I've been out on the beach trying to get a tan and I thought since this is such a fun week we should have a fun post and we're going to talk about oral hygiene for deserted islands so if you find yourself stranded on an island somewhere your plane goes down you have to swim to shore keep this post in the back of your head because you might need it someday. So number one, many of you probably don't know this, but on islands like Hawaii, most of the people that lived here didn't have a whole lot of cavities until people from the mainland or from other places brought refined sugars and things to that population of people and we started getting cavities and bacteria that started making cavities, got inter intermingled with everyone who lived there and the most important thing you've got to know that when you're on a deserted island, the most important thing for oral health is obviously going to be your diet because this is a big dictating factor in why with the diets that most of us have today, why cavities are so prevalent. So number one, you want to stick to fish, green things, fruits. If you have, you know, some snacks that uh, washed ashore, leave those alone because you're not going to have access to good hygiene. Uh, tools unless you know somebody's suitcases washes washes ashore with you that would be ideal but uh, other than diet behind that you're gonna need uh, to make sure that your teeth are as clean as possible and your gums are as clean as possible and in the absence of actual uh, toothbrushes or floss or anything like that you're going to need to probably use either some pieces of clothing to rub on your teeth or a stick and I'm going to post a huge list of uh, what, what are called chewing sticks and that's what people used to use way back in the day uh, and some people still do use uh, some people that are really into the organic lifestyle they still use these sticks they're really harsh on the teeth and I'm kind of I'd be a little bit wary about maybe some splinters getting stuck in the gums they can damage the gums and they wear on the teeth so ideally we wouldn't want to use these but you're on a, you're on a deserted island so what other choice do you have might want to try one of these out. You want to make sure that you're able to clean in and around all the nooks and crannies of your teeth if you want them not to get infected. And getting them infected on a deserted island, not what you want. And I'm sure everyone has seen Castaway, so they're probably pretty familiar with, with what will happen if a tooth gets infected. Now, another way that you can go ahead and clean your teeth would be uh, some monkeys at the zoo, uh, some apes at the zoo, will occasionally take pieces of hair off of their body and use it as floss. Now you need to have, number one, a long piece of hair and a pretty thick piece of hair uh, to go ahead and actually be able to floss with this. So wherever you can find something like that, if you think that would be a good idea uh, for cleaning your teeth, feel free to try it out. Uh, and lastly, I think, since we don't have any mouthwashes, even though salt water wouldn't be particularly effective at controlling the bacteria that grow in the teeth, it can help with uh, gum health, and especially if you're using some of those chewing sticks, you might be cutting up your gums a little bit, and the salt in the water, using that from time to time as a rinse, will not only help uh, the gum health and any cuts that you might have in your mouth, but you might be able to flush out pieces of food that might get caught in between your teeth because that's one thing you need to worry about a whole lot if you don't have tools like floss and toothbrushes you don't want food festering in between your teeth getting caught there otherwise you're going to get an infection so hope that's helpful for everyone and I'll see you next week when I'm back in Denver Colorado take care